In this video, I'm gonna be going through the 14 environmental and garden benefits of keeping your own backyard chickens. And stay tuned till the end because I'm gonna be going through some interesting chicken facts. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Chickens were domesticated around 9,000 years ago in Indian Eastern Asia. Since then, they have been the source of much amusement, joy, and food. Today, I wanna to honor the backyard chicken and show everyone just what an incredible animal they are. For instance, did you know that the average US household would need Need five chickens to ensure a fresh supply of eggs year round. So let's get into number one. No insects or pests. Now, granted, I'm not gonna say no because it's impossible to get rid of them, but they can definitely help with the insect or pest control. They are extraordinary at pest control and will keep your garden beds insect free. Chickens love insects and grubs overall, plus it's extra protein for them. You only need a flock of six chickens to have a pest and insect free garden. If your garden's relatively small or relatively average in size, I'll add a caveat. Don't just let your chickens roam in your garden willy nilly. Chickens don't discriminate between insects and veggies. Let them roam for about like 20 to 30 minutes a day to keep them from eating and pecking at your crops. Number two, chicken manure. Chicken defecate, just like the rest of us. However, gardeners that have chickens have started to use chicken muck as manure for fertilizing their crops. One chicken can help create eight freaking pounds of manure per month. Number three, your own personal tiller with legs. Need to till and make way for new crops? Have no fear, your friendly neighborhood chicken is here. A single chicken can till over 50 square feet of grass per month. Get a couple of those bad boys or girls and you're in business, much cheaper than the manual tiller. Number four, helps get rid of weeds. Your chickens will also eat weeds as much as they eat grass. Weeds and grass help your chickens get a balanced diet. Vegetation like weeds and grass help your chickens convert the nutrients into healthy, great tasting eggs and meat. Number five, keep your chickens away from these plants. Chickens love plucking at grass and pests, but some plants are actually toxic. This isn't really a environmental benefit, but this is more just a warning. These are the plants to avoid. Daffodils, tulips, acorns, tomatoes if they aren't ripe, rhubarb, meaning uh, keep them away from the leaves, bell peppers, and many more, which I actually have done an article on what chickens can and can't eat. I'll link to that in the description. All right, now let's get into the environmental benefits of backyard chickens. Number six, chickens eat grass and leaves. In 2019, 13.6 million tons of yard waste, this is grass clippings, leaf, just yard waste in general, made it to the landfill. Most of this waste could have been fed as chickens' natural diet outside of the feed you buy at the local market. Number seven, fewer food scraps to the landfill. After I just went through that last one, don't just go and toss whatever food scraps you have to your chickens. Chickens still need a balanced diet, but you can feed them food or table scraps in moderation as treats. Number eight, 28% of garbage and landfills in 2019 could have fed chickens. Now, I've already told you about the yard waste one, but like I said, food and yard trimmings were a massive percentage of the waste in the landfill. 28% of the waste in the landfill in that survey in 2019 were yard trimmings and food scraps. Both of these would have been better off being fed to chickens instead of putting more carbon emissions into the air. Number nine, fewer eggs from the grocery store, which equals less cardboard, styrofoam, and plastic usage. Right, on average, people eat 263 chicken eggs per year. To be honest, I eat closer probably to 400 or more per year. Anyway, the majority of Americans buy their eggs from the grocery store and most companies that send their eggs to the store for purchase use cardboard, plastic, or styrofoam. All of these will end up in a landfill only to be combusted, which adds more carbon emissions into the air. Having chickens on your property and getting yourself a nice fancy skelter or reusable cartons reduces your carbon footprint significantly. Number 10, egg transport hurts the environment. Now, as you can see, all these environmental benefits, but uh, um, I'm not the biggest fan of electric cars, but as you can tell, I think having chickens on your homestead is a fantastic for the environment. Think about how many thousands of trucks travel across the state every day and week to get your eggs to the local market. On top of that, think about how many miles each truck has to travel. Well, you don't even need to think about it. I've got it for you, and it's a lot. The average egg travels 317 miles before it makes its way to your plate. Keeping chickens obviously reduces this number for you to zero. And if you can buy from a friend or a local chicken, owner that works also all right number 11 chicken fat is jet fuel now i don't know how i feel about this one since i travel occasionally but apparently nasa has tested and used chicken fat as an eco-friendly alternative to jet fuel it's crazy to think about if you fly from florida to new york fueled by chicken fat i digress number 12 i already said chicken manure but again i'm going to talk about chicken manure so now that we both know chicken poo can be a solid alternative to store-bought fertilizer and if it's good enough for me it's good enough for larger farm operations recent 
recently, not sure where exactly, but chicken muck is being recycled and reused as bio oil. This bio oil is being used to run everyday farming operations. You know, the more you know. Number 13, fresher eggs for the family is healthier. This is more of a statistic and less of a benefit. For a basic US household, you would need at least five chickens to have eggs yearly. One could argue that this is also healthier for you and the chickens. These chickens end up in a backyard versus a factory focused on egg laying and meat. Most egg laying operations are probably a bunch of chickens all cooped in cages spreading illnesses and diseases. They do not have access to outside. They are fed a scientific diet designed to produce as many eggs as possible in the shortest period of time. Now I know recent bad publicity has caught a lot of companies to allow the chickens more room and outdoor access, but still, this doesn't sound humane to me and I know from my research that these chickens don't live very long. Having your own chickens may not produce as many eggs, but the chicken will produce healthier ones, which is better for you in the long term. They also lay eggs for longer. So get some chickens and you and your chickens will thank me later. All right, number 14. But before I get into that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickengroup.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, number 14, less trips to the grocery store. I've already harped on this, but this is a different twist. So having your own chickens will not only reduce your carbon footprint, but it will also help with keeping our outsourcing lower. But hear me out, this sounds like a stretch. In 2020, it was released that our agricultural exports are 3.7 times higher than they were in 2000. On top of that, this includes dairy products, eggs, meat, and meat preparations. So here's the kicker. Having chickens helps reduce our need to receive exported eggs and chicken meat. I'm not gonna name any names, <clears throat> butcher box, but I know there are subscription companies that send frozen meat stored in a dry ice container. This meat comes from a totally different country. We need to bring our agricultural trade back to the US and getting chickens helps us get there. Wow, Whew. who knew how much backyard chickens could help us? If you like this video, please be sure to check this one out over here. That's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learn something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.